So you are looking at economics, and I'm so happy because I can see my students in Zoom. The number is really growing. The number is growing. The number is growing. And today, what I want us to do is to look at a few areas here. All right. So I would want us to start with. This is what I want us to start working on. Economics, great subject. Great subject. Great subject. So I'm looking at my past papers. I hope you also have your past papers with you there. All right, so I'm perusing through my past papers to pick the questions that we should be able to do today. And yes, here I am. December 2022, question 7B. December, December 2022, question number 7B. Question number 7B. Question number 7B. December 2022. Question number 7B. Once you get that question, can you kindly put your thumbs up like this? It's CPA, economics, free of charge, session. For the students who are following me live on Facebook, are you able to share that particular video live cast to your various uh, Facebook groups? You should be able to do that uh, for your mwalimu, really. For your mwalimu, you should be able to do that for your mwalimu. I can see I've got two guys who are online, so they should be able to share. Like that is what I'm doing exactly. I'm going straight away here to my groups. Like now I'm sharing this live cast here to accountants on Facebook. We have uh, Kasneb. Yeah, because it's good for Mwalimu to get an audience. It's good for Mwalimu to get an audience. It's good for Mwalimu to get an audience. All right. And I can see my Zoom. My Zoom numbers are also not very good. We are at 14. We should be at 100 and something. We should be at 100 and something. We should be up there. 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 All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So have we been able to get that question, ladies and gentlemen? Have we been able to get that question? You haven't uh, given me the signal to continue. You haven't given me the... All right, all right. I'll continue once I get a signal that you've been able to get this question paper, December 2022. Specifically, go to question number 7B. Specifically, go to question number 7B. Specifically, go to question number 7B. Once you get it, kindly alert me. Once you get it, kindly alert me. I will really be happy. All right. All 
Hey, there's nobody. Ah, at least Sabrina has gotten it. Sabrina has gotten it. Sabrina, are you able to share? Are you able to share that question paper on our WhatsApp group, Sabrina? Please do that. Share it so that I can do a question that the students are able to do what yet to see. The students are able to see. Uh -huh. I can also see in this case here, yes, Sabrina is trying that. Because now we are about 16 and many students don't have the question paper. That is bad. That is sad. It is December. We are doing December 2022 question number 7B. It's an economics session. For those of you who have never met this Mwalimu Mwalimu's name is Dr. Joshua Aura. I teach the advanced level at RCM Online College, but I occasionally come also to assist students of RCM Online College who are at the intermediate and foundation level also grasp some of these uh, concepts here at a higher level. In this economics paper, for instance, we are being taken care of by a great teacher called the CPA Odongo. You must have heard of CPA Odongo. Great teacher. All right. I only come in for purpose of what we call quality assurance and getting feedback over, like, how are my students doing? As the principal, I have that uh, right. Otherwise, he's a great teacher. Great teacher. And I normally do that for all the papers, for all the papers, for all the papers. So Sabrina, have you been able to share? All right. So of course, if you would want to join RCM Online College, if you'd want to join RCM Online College as I wait for these students here to get that question paper, you simply give us a call 0793 0793 0793-555-000, and we shall be able to enroll you, all right? We charge Kenya shillings 4,800. Kenya shillings 4,800 per paper. And once you pay the 4,800 Kenya shillings per paper, we shall give you access to Zoom. This will cover three things. Zoom, videos, videos, and the notes. Zoom, videos, and what here? And the notes, Zoom, videos, and notes like that. So now I suppose they have gotten the question paper. We are told there, ladies and gentlemen, this is what they are telling us. This is what they are telling us. They are telling us there, December 2022, question number 7B. The following data relates to the national income of a certain country in billions of shillings. Please underline the words national income. National income. Underline the words there national income, which of course we shall be denoting using Y. Y stands for national income. So in this national income, we have got four things there. We have the consumption, C. Consumption, of course, income. Income is directly related to consumption. All right. We have there the investments, of course, made by the private sector investments very important and then we have in this case here g g stands for the government spending or government expenditure you know out of the income national income here ladies and gentlemen we must have uh, we are paying salaries for example so we expect people to consume we expect out of the salaries we pay these people here to invest and then the government of course must have its own expenses that is g then we have in this case here t t for uh, tax there, we have X minus M. X minus M, of course, that is what we call the net exports. Net exports, they are given there as 280 minus 0.1 what year? Minus 0.1 Y. Minus 0.1 Y. So they have uh, gone ahead to explain to us what, what those uh, uh, letters denote. Required, they want us to give them the equilibrium level of national income. Equilibrium level of national income. Equilibrium level of national income. National income. So, ladies and gentlemen, what shall we do here? Here we are looking at the four sectors approach. Four sectors approach where our national income Y will be equal to, in this case here, the consumption. We have in this case here investments, 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 very important. We have the government spending, government spending. And then of course, uh, we also expect to get uh, 
part of our national income coming from where? Coming from our exports. When we export, when we export, all right? What we call the balance of payments, balance of payments. If you recall, to get balance of payments, ladies and gentlemen, how do we get balance of payments? If you recall, BOP, balance of payments, we normally talk of what here, exports minus imports like that. When you export, of course, you earn. Eh? Imports, you are spending. Imports, you are spending here. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is X minus M. You can either bring it here as X minus M, or you simply say plus net exports. Let's bring this the way it is, X minus M, like that. So, Y, remember Y is the total government what year? Income. Y is the total government or national income. National income. So, and once I've been able to appreciate this equation here, that the national income is a factor of what here, is a factor of consumption. When, when people consume, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we do what here as a, a government, nationally, we earn. When they invest, when they invest, investment income, even the government, when the government, of course, spends, at the end of the day, there is quite a lot of income. Government expenditure, for example, government is incurring an expense here to produce, all right, public goods, roads, etc. So at the end of the day, whatever expenditure they put in there, it's as good as uh, investing. It is as good as investing because public goods will be public goods will be uh, supporting what here will be supporting a business will be supporting business, and then we have plus exports minus imports. Once you've been able to understand this equation very well, then really getting uh, the Y, which is the national income, will not be a big big deal really. So let's plug in. Already we have the equations there. So we have here C, C. So instead of writing C there, we have here, instead of writing C, we have the equation up there. It's 500. It is 500 plus, in this case here, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 YD, YD. YD stands for what? You remember Y is income. Eh? So this D stands for disposable, what you are able to use, disposable income, disposable income. Uh, so plus 0 0.6 YD, uh -huh, that is uh, the consumption. Plus the investment. Investment, you can see there, it is 350. So plus I investment is 350. Plus, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, the government spending. The government spending there, I can see it is 250. Government spending is 250, 250. From there, ladies and gentlemen, I can see I'm following this. X minus M. X minus M has been given to me. It is what here somebody X minus M has been given to me. This X minus M, ladies and gentlemen, is 280. It is 280. It is 280. 280 minus 0 0.1 Y. Minus 0 0.1 Y. Let me know whether you guys have been able to write up to there. I don't want to take you guys with too much speed. I want to know whether you've been able to write up to here. I want to know whether you guys have been able to write up to there. Once you're able to write up to there, like Anthony is telling me, yes. All right. Please. Uh -huh. Great. 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 So they've been able to write up to here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I will do pretty, pretty fast, there is this concept of this YD. YD, I have to replace YD as first as I can because I know what YD stands for, the disposable income. The disposable income, the disposable income, the income, ladies and gentlemen, for example, if you have your salary, gross salary, you have your gross salary, and you would want to know out of this gross salary, how much of it is disposable? How much of it is available for you to use? How much of it is available for you to use? How do you get this disposable income? It's very easy. To get the disposable income, we normally take our total income minus tax. Minus tax. Remember, there are two ways to go about this tax here. Some examiner will tell you that tax is 30% of Y. Some examiner will tell you that tax is 30% of the income. Then I would have written here minus 0.3 Y. But in this kind of a question, tax has been provided to us as a lump sum. 
Is there somebody who is able to see the amount of tax in the question? Is there somebody who is able to see the amount of tax in the question? It has been given to us as a lump sum. Tax is what year? Tax is how much? Somebody, somebody talk to me. 200 years. Tax is 200. So it means that uh, our disposable income will be our disposable income here, YD, will be equal to Y minus the 200 that you guys are giving me. Minus the 200 that you guys are giving me. Minus the 200 that you guys are giving me. So then please go ahead and substitute. Go ahead and plug in. Instead of this YD, write whatever you have there for YD. It's equivalent. So go ahead here. Go ahead here. And we plug in. So then what do we have, ladies and gentlemen, here? We have our Y being equal to 500, 500 plus 0 0.6 YD. And we know that YD, I have to put this YD in a bracket because YD has got uh, two terms there. All right. So instead of just writing uh, without, I have to put this in bracket. So YD, I'm substituting here. YD, YD is there. It is Y minus 200 like that. So I continue with my journey. Plus 350. So this is plus 350, plus 350, plus 250, plus 250, plus 280, plus 280, minus 0 0.1y, minus 0 0.1y. So please go ahead and open these brackets. I'm going to use the distributive law and distribute this inside here. So then our y will be 500 plus 0 0.6y. I'm distributing this. So I'll take this times this. Minus, can somebody give me what is 0.6 times 200? What is 0.6 times 200? What is 0.6 times 200? Somebody give me an answer. 0 0.6 times 200. 0 0.6 times 200. 120 deaths far. So this one here gives me 120. 120. So I've been able to distribute this to the two terms. So I continue with the journey. So plus 350. Plus 250. Plus 280. Minus 0 0.1y. Minus 0 0.1y. So I would want to take a one minute break and ask you guys, have you been able to right up to here and have you been able to understand what you're doing because really it's not just about copying no it's not about copying no it's not about copying no it's not about copying no we must be able to appreciate the concept we must be able to appreciate the concept we must be able to appreciate the concept if you are able to understand kindly go ahead and tell me hey I've been able to write there and I'm okay up to there. Or please use this opportunity to ask a question. Use this opportunity to ask a question. You can use the opportunity to ask a question. And my students who are online, it's my belief that uh, you are really sharing whatever post that I have there. Please share it on your timelines. Share it across because you also have an obligation to promote this kind of a, a teacher. I would want also to be promoted in the industry. I would want, of course, we are there, but we would want to become multinational. We would want to become multinational. Like economics is a subject being studied all over, Zambia, all over. So when you share, you never know. Your network could be a rich network. The video could easily reach to great, great people who can support us heavily by being our customers. So up to here, are we together? They are not talking to me. These great people are not talking to me. Up to here, are we together? 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 That question is equation is correct. C plus I plus G plus T. Uh -huh. Maybe I finish and then I repeat. I can finish and then I repeat. So please let's go ahead and put like terms together. Like this 500, we have minus 120. We have 350. We have 250. We have 280. 
these are like terms. Is there somebody who can combine these ones here? 500 minus 120 plus 350 plus 250 plus 280. Give me an answer, somebody. Give me an answer, somebody, before I go to answer what Sabrina is asking there. My formula doesn't have T. Let's first of all see what we are getting and then we, because my T is here, my T is here. Y minus T, Y minus T. Let's first of all see how it goes. So they're telling me that this is supposed to be, when they're putting this together, Y is supposed to be 1260, 1260. That is this, 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 this and that. And then now we have here plus 0.6Y minus 0.1Y. 0.6y minus 0.1y, that gives me plus what here, somebody plus 0.5y. 0.5y. All right. So I'm trying to put like terms together. 0.6y and minus 0.1y, then this gives me 0.5y. And then take this to the other side. Take this to the other side. On the other side, of course, we expect this to change the sign. So on the other side will be minus, isn't it? On this other side will be minus. On this other side will be minus. On this other side here, it will be minus. It will be minus. So it will be y minus 0.5y equals 1260. Then 0.5y will be equal to 1260. Therefore, y alone will be 1260 divided by what here, somebody? Divided by 0.5. So what figure are we getting there, somebody? 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 25, 20, 25, 20, 25, 20, 25, 20, 25, 20, 25, 20, 25, 20, 25, 20. That is our why. That is the national income. So if you are in charge of uh, treasury as the minister of treasury, you should be able to check your performance. This is the national income. This is a national income. I would want us to take a few seconds here and interrogate our formula for national income. National income. Our formula for national income. I think Sabrina is wrong there. Please check. I'm so sure these are topics that you guys have done. These are topics that you guys have done. Let's look at uh, the formula for national income. Our formula for national income. How do we normally write it down? National income formula. The national income formula national income formula i know it has got four components it has four components so the four components here we have we have the cig and then we have what we call the net exports like that our net exports remember net exports is x minus m to make in this case here these four sectors one two three four now, do you want to tell me that we are supposed to add tax here again? Are we supposed to add tax here? Thank you very much, Sabrina, for bringing that up. Thank you very much, Sabrina, for bringing that up. Can somebody in this case here talk to us? Are we supposed to add that T there? Are we supposed to I'm waiting to hear from the other students. What is your take on this? using the consumptions model here, all right? Sabrina, just check your notes very well. Sabrina, check your notes, check your notes, check your notes, check your notes, because tax normally comes here under cons consumption. Tax normally comes here under consumption. If you look at the consumption, 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 if you look at the consumption formula, if you look at the consumption formula, just one minute. If you look at the consumption formula, the consumption formula has been given to us there. 
the consumption formula has been given to us there. The consumption formula is given us 500, 500 plus 0 0.6 YD. And then we know that YD, then we know that YD, we know that YD is the total income minus tax. So our C will be 500 plus 0 0.6 into Y minus the tax. So that's where we put the taxation because tax, tax in this case here, ladies and gentlemen, rarely in terms of national income, tax will be reducing the national income. Of course, in the short term, if you keep on increasing the tax, then people will go and invest elsewhere. People will go to what we call tax havens. And that is where you realize that those countries that are doing very well economically are those countries, I mean, whose tax rates are very, very little. Look at a country like Dubai. Dubai, you know, if you are employed today in Dubai, your salary, your salary in this case here will only be chopped tax of 5%. All right? All right? Corporation tax in Dubai, Middle East, is very, very little. So that is why you can see so many people coming economists and telling they're telling Ruto that, you know, you can't grow an economy by overtaxing individuals. Because when you overtax individuals, chances are people will even get away of running away from the tax. Like right now, so many people have started using what here? They have started uh, uh, stopped using, I mean, m -pesa tills. all right? You can't grow the national income by growing taxation. When you increase taxation, you kill industries. The national income goes down, goes down. And that's why you can see, we would want you to be growing what we call the disposable income. Because we would want to spur the economy by encouraging consumption consumption and investments consumption and investments people whenever people get their salaries we don't want them to go and keep that salary just like that we want them to consume we want money to be flowing in the economy all right whatever extra they have they should go and invest buy government bonds buy land money is circulating in the eco is circulating in the economy and also the government if the government wants to grow its economy they also have to ensure that they're doing what here they're also spending when the government, like today, the government is not investing, it's not spending heavily on roads. That's why the economy, in this case, things are not really flying up. If you want things to fly up, the government must always do what you spend, very, very importantly. And the government must encourage what you exportation. Exportation. Like right now, uh, Dr. William Ruto is doing very well in terms of what, you know, I mean, from these exports, at least he knows even if he doesn't have that uh, blessing of what here, I mean, uh, of knowing like how to do it, but at least he knows that uh, for the country to be able to move forward, we must think of like, how do we bring the dollar home? All right. Export workers, which is quite unfortunate because you are trading them using resources and then you are exporting them. But at least he's talking about what here, exporting, export, so they can bring back the much needed dollar back home. So anytime you are talking about national income, you must always think about what year this equi this equation. So is it clear now? Is it clear now? Is it clear now? All right. All right. So can I go to something different? You guys, today you are very silent. Today you are very, very silent. Can I go to something different? Can I go to something different? Can I go to something different? You guys, talk to me. I expect all my students here to talk to me. I expect all my students here to talk to me. Great. Thank you so much. Then they expect me to go ahead there and give them in Roman 2, the equilibrium level of consumption expenditure, C. So they simply want you to give them the value of C. They want us to give them the value of C. And fortunately, we have the C, C equation. We have the C equation. We have this C equation. It is here. Fortunately, we have the C equation, all right? And I can even go ahead to expand it because I know how this C equation looks like. So this C equals 500 plus 0 0.6 into YD. The disposable income, which is very important, is Y minus taxation like that. 
is y minus taxation like that. Then this one here will be equal to 500 plus 0 0.6. Do we have the value of y, the one that you have just obtained up there, the equilibrium national income? Do we remember it? Can somebody remind me the value that we got? Can somebody remind me the value that we got? Can somebody remind me the value that we got? We got 25. 20, thank you so much. 25, 20. And then if you remember very well, we have the value of tax that has been provided to us there. We have the value of tax that has been provided to us there. Are you able to remember the value of tax given to us up there? It is 200, isn't it? The value of tax given up there is 200. So for the students who are joining us right now, we are doing economics paper, December 2022. Question number 7B. All right, so this is 200. This is 200, 200. So are you able to give me, ladies and gentlemen, are you able to give me the final answer, please? Are you able to give me the final answer? Are you able to give me the final answer, please? All right. Eighteen ninety two, the year that I was born, the year that I was born, eighteen ninety two shillings, 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 eighteen. 92 shillings 1892 all right so can i go to something different can i go to the multiplier can i go to the multiplier can i go to the multiplier to the multiplier roman 3 can i go uh, now i'm so happy because now my students are talking to me they're not talking to me they're not talking to me the multiplier the multiplier what you're supposed to know multiplier ladies and gentlemen is a big thing in terms, if you go to National Treasury today, you'll hear people talking about multiplier, multiplier, multiplier. Very, very important stuff. So you talk of multiplier in national economics, this multiplier is basically the factor. The factor, the factor, the factor by which any change in government spending, any change in government spending leads to a larger change in national income. So what is that change amount that will lead to the highest or optimal total output of a given country? I'm repeating again, ladies and gentlemen, in national income economics, multiply the multiplier M refers to the factor by which a change in spending, a change in government spending leads to a larger change in national income, in national income or output in the economy. It basically encourages circulation of money, circulation of money in the entire economy. Circulation of money in the entire economy. Circulation of money in the entire economy. Ladies and gentlemen, remember when you are in government, because I'm so sure most of these CPA guys who are learning economics with me today, in the next, say, five years, you guys, some of you, of course, not all of you, but some of you, will be key decision makers in government. Perhaps some of you would be in parliament, ETC, right? I would also always want you to consider this concept of what here, cash, circulating in the economy. You would want, in this case, as the national income cake grows, everybody in the economy should be happy, should be happy, should be happy. And that is why you should not go and become that kind of a person who will be supporting higher taxes for government. No. If this money circulates very, very well, the government doesn't have to bite so much from just one person. No. 
No, no, no. So then what is the formula of getting this M? To get this M very easily, ladies and gentlemen, the formula is very easy. The formula of getting this M, the multiplier. I love the multiplier. I love the multiplier very much. I love the multiplier very much. To get this multiplier, to get the multiplier, it is basically the inverse of what here? The inverse of uh, this, or the talk of one minus one minus one over one minus the marginal propensity to consume. One all over one minus uh, marginal propensity to consume. Minus the marginal propensity to consume. The more the consumption, then automatically, the more the consumption, automatically the higher the multiplier will be. The higher the multiplier will be. Then how do we get this marginal propensity to consume? Marginal propensity to consume is the gradient of the consumption function, the gradient. If you remember our mathematics of straight lines, we normally talk of y equals a plus bx like that. So this is the gradient or y equals mx plus c. M is the gradient. So in this consumption equation, this 500 is a constant and then 0.6 is the gradient. And this gradient, that gradient is what we are calling gradient of the consumption function is what we are calling the marginal propensity to consume. Marginal MPC, marginal propensity to consume. Then this one here will be equal to 1 over 1 minus marginal propensity to consume here is 0 0.6, which is 1 over 0 0.4. If you take 1 minus 0 0.6, 1 minus 0 0.6 gives me, 1 minus 0 0.6 gives me 0 0.4 here, 0 0.4. So is there somebody who is able to give me the multiplier? Is there somebody who is able to give me the multiplier? Is there somebody who is able to give me this multiplier? The final answer. Is there somebody who is able to give me this multiplier? Is there somebody who is able to give me this multiplier? Somebody talk to me. How I wish everybody was talking to me. If everybody was to talk to me, I'm telling you these things would have been very good. Very good. Trust you me. Very good. They would have been very good. Very good. Very good. All right, so what do we have, ladies and gentlemen, here? What do we have, ladies and gentlemen, here? So Doreen, Emily, all of them are giving me a, a multiplier, multiplier of what here? A multiplier of 2.5, a multiplier of 2.5, a multiplier of 2.5, a multiplier of 2.5. So now we have come to the end of our today's free session, but I would want to welcome all my students who have been here the ones who have been following me either in Zoom or on Facebook, please to go ahead and sign up for our classes. Remember we are charging for this economics and the NCPA paper, we are charging 4,800 per paper. And now with that amount, you'll be able to get videos, you'll be able to get, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in this case here, Zoom classes, and then of course notes. And you also sell revision kits. Our revision kits, we have an offer price of 1,000. Revision kits, they've got uh, uh, questions, custom lab questions and what here, suggested answers. And they have been of help to many students for many, many years that have been in this industry. So it is my hope that you guys uh, have gotten a chance of uh, knowing this concept of national income. And of course, as I've said up there, welcome and be under our mentorship. You can never go wrong. You can never go wrong. Our phone number is 0793 000. Please write this number somewhere. 0793 000. Write this number somewhere because there are so many people who are coming outside here calling themselves RCM and they're not. 0793 000. We also have other numbers like 0719. 0719 525,000. 0719 525,000. 0, Great. So for the Zoom students, have you enjoyed my session? Have you enjoyed my session? Have you enjoyed my session? 
for the students who are in Zoom. Ah, great. Great, Asante, great, great. So then I would want to send you out there. Now you are our ambassadors. Please call these other students here to join RCM. Join them. Once I see that class has hit, because right now we are at about 60, 60 or 70, I'm not so sure. Once I see that class has hit 100, paid up students, then I shall start coming in often. I shall start coming in often. Otherwise, for now, thank you so much. Happy weekend. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Great. Thank you. It's good to see students are appreciating what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. And of course, the students who are also online on Facebook, if there are things you'd want me to do in economics, please go to that Facebook, Joshua Aura ACC Mentor. If you have questions that you'd want me to address, go to some of those uh, videos and say, Mwalimu, do this question in economics. Do this question in financial accounting. Do this question in ICT. I will be able to dive in and do them. So even for the students who are here in uh, Zoom, if you'd want to reach out to me, perfectly if you'd want to reach out to me perfectly please go to facebook look for mwalimu here joshua aura acca mentor and then ensure that you are making comments there if there are special questions you want me to do for you you simply mention the name of the question for example it's a december 2022 question number one etc and i will gladly help you thank you so much and uh, see you again another time Bye. Great, you're welcome. Bye.